Hey, welcome back to the channel. Cindy Berkland here with cindyberkland.com and we are back on our Naked Money. And today I wanna to talk about some fun stuff and I wanna talk about three ways to make your morning routine more effective. Now you're probably asking, what does this have to do with getting naked about our money in the money series that I always do? Well, I always like to give you guys things that are gonna be helpful and it, aren't we really all when 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 we talk about one person, it's body, mind, soul, spirit. There's a lot of parts to us that make us who we are and what makes us successful. So I want to kind of bring alive today what makes a day successful it could be your morning routine or what you do the night before. So I want to talk about some of those things, because if you're organized and you're healthy and you're happy and you're getting stuff done your money is going to be in order. It's going to be a lot easier to budget. There's everything ties together, believe it or not. So I want to just talk about this because um, I've developed habits over my lifetime that I feel like are, they may sound silly to you, but they've really, really helped me. And I have kind of a morning routine that I do. And, you know, the better I do on my morning routine, the better my day is. And the better my day is, I make more money. And, and if I can help you make more money, I think, would that be valuable? So um, let's kind of go over this. Um, why we even do a routine? So a routine is really about improved mental health. And here's what I mean by this. Picture the day... Um, you oversleep by like an hour. You had intended to set your alarm. You forgot to set your alarm. You oversleep by an hour. Now you're jumping out of the bed. You've got to go. You've got to get ready. You've got to be to this meeting. It's at nine and you woke up at eight. You know there's morning traffic. So you're rushing. You didn't pick your clothes out the night before. So now you're having to figure out what you want to wear. You're putting your outfit together. This shirt isn't ironed. This skirt is all like it it needed to be stitched like there's a million things going on now you're spending time in the closet you don't have anything to wear now you skip coffee you haven't had your coffee because you don't have time and you got to get in the car and now you're stuck in rush hour traffic and guess what this meeting was so important you had to be there by nine you should have been there by a quarter till now it's 9 15 you're late for your meeting you're rushing in you don't feel good about how you look. Your, your clothes aren't pressed. You haven't done your makeup right. Or for some of you guys, maybe you didn't shave that day. You don't feel like you're on top of your game. And now this meeting that was really, really important, you're already off. And you didn't think about what you needed to say. So, you know, you guys get the idea. You get the idea of how this day is going to play out. You started off wrong the whole day, unless you can course correct your mindset the day can get away from you and it can go all downhill from there. So it's really, really important that our routines are already set up. So a big, big part about a morning routine is planning the night before. So I have a friend that sometimes she'll say, I'll get up in the middle of the night, I'll wake up, I'm having a bad dream and I'll, I'll dream about what I need to do the next day and I'll get up and I'll write it down. Well, the bottom line is, had she put all of her goals for tomorrow or her what needed to be done tomorrow, write it down on a notebook next to the bed the night before and have your day already organized, you can go to bed and have a good night's sleep because you everything's on the list. You're already organized for tomorrow. So plan ahead the night before. You know, if it's it's if it, if it helps you put a notebook by the side of your bed or I'm going to get into a little bit about what I do, how to plan ahead for my next work day. OK, um, but the big thing is about writing it down. OK, when we write it down, we're 10 times more likely to accomplish our goal the next day if it's written down. So let's talk about our, our priorities. So priorities are going to be set up based on what's important to you, not me. So um I feel like it's really important in the morning to handle self-care items. And what I mean by that is um, the most important part of my day is my prayer time. I like to start my morning checking in with the big guy. I like to check in with God and, and thank him for my day and pray for people and pray for my friends and my family, pray for our country. Um, to me, prayer, starting off my day with prayer is a really big deal. And 
I don't feel right if I don't check in with God first. So for me, that's part of my self-care. Um, self-care for you could be your gym time or um, walking your dog. So, you know, your self-care could be like spending time with your animal and making sure they're taken care of in the morning. Do you walk your dog every morning? Do you hit the gym every morning at 6 a.m.? You leave the gym at 7. You've already given yourself one hour. That's your self-care. Um, do you do Pilates in the morning or is that something that you do at night? So you have to organize what that looks like. So your priorities for self-care, you still have to make time for self-care in your day, but are you doing it in the morning or whatever? So organize that. Now, also, I want to talk about how we organize and how we segment that. So what I was just mentioning, self-care needs to be time set aside every, every morning that you're doing that no matter what. Like, hey, this is my time for me. Um, the way I look at it is God first, me second, and everything after there. So if my day is already organized the night before, um, I'm, I'm already going to work it out exactly the way it needs to be. So let's talk about segmenting. And what I mean by that is when we talked about writing it down and prioritizing, um, what helps me be successful in my business is as I'm wrapping up my day, so let's say you're tired and you're like, man, this day, it was a great day, but I still had so many things I didn't get done. Well, wouldn't that be, wouldn't it be most important that whatever you didn't get done today needs to be the first thing you handle tomorrow? So I create a list of priorities for my next day. As soon as I'm wrapping up my work day this day, I keep lists and what is most important? Who do I need to follow up with? Um, what's my money shot call? What's an A list thing to do versus a D list thing to do? And when we talk about that, that's priorities. Like new business coming in is a priority. Who do I need to talk to today about new business? Um, you know, following up on an old account or an old policy or somebody that hasn't really been checking in. That's that's more of a uh, bottom of the list thing to do. But new business is always really important. So that goes on the top of my list for the very next day. Um, so I get to organize my day the following day, the night before. So for me, by prioritizing that, I am already set up to win. And then my morning, I have my own morning routines, my self-care time. And then, you know, night before, lay out your clothes. What are you going to wear tomorrow? You're, you're already looking at your schedule. What do I have going on? Um, you guys know that I'm out and about. I'm out in the um, public eye a lot. So I have to really pay attention to what I'm wearing and who I'm going to be talking to, what, you know, is my hair done right? All these things need to be put in place the night before. So staying organized is really, really powerful way to set yourself up to win. So I know this is a little bit off the beaten path, but all these things tie together. It's super important that we have our priorities right so that our life as a whole works. Um, if this conversation interests you and you want to learn more about it, maybe you could use some coaching on these types of things. When it comes to your body, mind, soul, spirit, your money, um, let's have a conversation. Get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com. Cindy Berkland here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching the channel. And if you want more content, just need you to click right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, clicking right here. If any of these conversations have interested you, please get a hold of us at cindyberkland.com or you can reach me at cindyberkland at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching.